Brookside Elementary children had a joyful spring, and the National Aviary was part of the reason, as it led an innovative pilot program called One North Side for Every Student. The program connected second grade students from seven North Side public schools to the National Aviary through a series of educational programs. The result was an enriching K-8 experience and extracurricular support for student academic proficiency. Second graders in their academic experiences are starting to learn about animals, their behaviors and adaptations, and so the ability for us to bring live animals to the second graders in their classroom and then have them come here to visit our um, facility, I think provided a great opportunity for kids to see animals up close, to connect to their natural world, and to also understand better the, uh, the behaviors, adaptations, and, um, and environmental connections that they're starting to learn. So I keep saying the word adaptation, and adaptation is anything that helps an animal survive in the wild. You, you can read any information from a book um, or research it on the computer, but to come and see a living creature actually doing the things that you read about and you study and you learn about is pretty incredible. I mean, it, it, it brings it to life. I like the classes that you have here at the aviary because you get to see different birds and some of them are cute and some of them are fierce and others just walk, wander around on the ground or something. You get to see them and you get to hear them laugh or hear make their noise. In addition to classroom activities and aviary visits, another part of the program was the aviary's bird banding project. Ornithologist Bob Mulvihill showed a few lucky students how to gently grasp a chipping sparrow before releasing it. At first it was like they were facing their fears. You know, they got to feed um, some of the birds in the, the tropical rainforest and at first they were, you know, timid, they were hesitant, they were fearful, but it was one of those things where it's a once in a lifetime experience, so to speak. So to see them face their fears was, was pretty incredible. When spring weather arrived, aviary staff members installed temporary bird feeding stations at each school. Here at Manchester Academic Charter School, students were issued binoculars to get a closer look at the dining and nesting habits of local birds. At the end of the second semester, the National Aviary hosted showcase days that gave parents and educators the opportunity to view the students' meaningful achievements. Second graders told us what they'd learned. Owl can go at night and search for food when it's dark. They hibernate when it's in the morning because they like to go out in the night. My favorite bird is the penguins. They use their wings to swim around, but they don't use their wings to fly. It's called flying in the water. One time, me and my mom, we went to the orthodontics, and th there was a question on the TV that said, which bird can fly back? Can only fly backwards? And I just yelled it out, and it was a hummingbird. I knew that right at the top of my head because when I came to the aviary, it taught me all about birds. One Northside intends to offer educational activities like these for students and parents to learn together at places like the National Aviary. It was the first time at the aviary for a parent named Lindsay, prodded by her daughter from Propel Northside. She was just like, we have to go, we have to go. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So I feel like I'm a big old kid looking at different things. Um, different smells too. <laughs> Northside parent Carolyn Peretti praised the pilot program and the aviary. My son had a choice to go see the Steelers and possibly play football with them in a program or come here. And he chose to come here because he wanted to tell me all about what he learned about in the classroom this week and over the last couple of months. He wanted to show me his artwork that he did. So, um, I, yeah, I, I, without saying, who's going to argue with that as a parent? So I was, that was my proud mom moment. Teachers and parents alike urge that the program be expanded to a full year. I think this program should continue, um, especially for our students in the urban community, because in some ways I feel as though it's the only opportunity they'll have to explore wildlife, so to speak. 
um, to, to see you know, the birds in their natural environments as, as close as they can while still having the opportunity to study them and learn more about them. And um, I think for some of our kids it really ignited a passion you know, to con continue learning and studying about animals and birds, which in the long run I think might lead to some, some potential careers for them. Being able to bring our own brand of environmental education and conservation education to children is what we do. And to be able to have an opportunity to replicate experiences, helping children to build their academic understanding of natural history content is, is what we strive to do. So we're very, very thrilled to have had that opportunity. We love the aviary.